I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this Be Life S10. First of all, the box is totally cute. I love the pink. I love the design of it. The brush bar is very soft, and it has this soft bar, which is perfect for hardwood floors. You just click the head of the vacuum on with the paw. It extends like that. Then you add on the vacuum attachment part. It just clicks in very easily. It's super shiny and has this like pinkish purple color, which I love. The filter is right there on the top. Very convenient for you to clean. It's a clean. super shiny top. I love the shiny top and the pink color. You can add the attachments in like this that just clicks on. It has this like um, sucker thing and then you extend with a brush attachment as well as the crevice tool you just stick it in like that it will have great suction because it's attached directly to the vacuum this is a cleaner out for to clean your brush bar out it has a razor blade and a brush this is the filter in the bottom of the vacuum so nicely it comes with two extra that you can use to clean out the filter and have extra when you need an extra filter. Perfect, very smart, that's handy. Also the battery, you just slide it in real easy, it clicks in, it's very nice, it's not heavy at all. It has a low mode and a max mode, you can hear it. just like that. This tool that you can hang on your wall, it holds the tools and everything you need nice and convenient. It just clicks in just like that. So you can store them when they are not in use. For my favorite part, let's try it out. So it runs really good. I do love the lights. When you have the lights on your vacuum, you can see so much more dirt. Already it has picked up a lot and I only made a few tracks along. I love how it's very maneuverable like this and lightweight. It's great for quick pick-me-ups and vacuuming. Hardwood floors, vinyl floors, tile floors. It gets underneath the furniture really good. That's what's great about a cordless stick vac. You can get into all those nooks and crannies and it worked very well on hardwood floors and vinyl. And I'm doing this shag carpet as well to show you how it works on shag carpet. This is a lot of dirt right here, and this is on low mode. So I'm showing you what it does on a short pile rug on low mode with a lot of breasts. Now there was one spot that it appears that it didn't come clean. That's because that's like ground in dirt. It's not gonna come up. It needs to be shampooed, but it did a really great job on the hardwood. It gets up underneath the countertops in the corners really well. You touch it once and it stays continuously on until you touch it to turn it off. So you don't have to hold the trigger and you can easily do it from light to max. Love